Are you listening? so happy um guys this is probably about my fifth time recording this video i just want it to be a nice video but honestly i'm just gonna talk at this point because i never i didn't really plan out this video i'm just gonna be talking but what i'm gonna be talking about today is my acceptance so with my acceptance, I got accepted into NYCPM. It is a podiatry school, podiatric medical school in New York. So I chose this specific school because it was just, it happened to be one of my top choices because it was pretty close to home. Um, and I was accepted to some of the other ones, so I wanted to see how it compared. But honestly, like all of the podiatry schools are pretty good. They're like at least the ones that I interviewed at, they're pretty good. They're fine. But when I got to New York, um, everyone was very nice. They're very welcoming. Um, so welcoming. And when I got there, we got a chance to shadow at um, their clinic. And when I shadowed at the clinic, I saw some of the third year students and they were so competent. Like, I don't even know how to ex really explain it. They were very competent, like more than I thought a third year student, you know, would be. They were already working up their patients and everything, seeing their own patients, like, or at least that, that's what it looked like. They were typing up the medical records and working up the patient and seeing the patient out and all of that. And I was like, whoa, as third year students, that's great. That's literally so great. So that definitely, you know, attracted me to the school and... Just seeing their videos on YouTube, they took time to record those videos maybe a couple months ago. And I'm so thankful that they did because at, as, a, as a prospective student, it was super hard to find like YouTube videos about podiatry, even though it's a great field. It was like kind of hard to find videos about those specific schools. And NYCPM really took the time and the effort and the money to record videos and put it out. I was literally, I literally probably watched those videos maybe 10 times because, and it was nicely like edited and everything. It was great. And they were the only school that really took the time to do that. Whoa. Do you guys see? Oh my goodness. This lighting is great. Finally, the sun went away, but this lighting is great. Anyway. So after that, I was like very like happy, you know, that, you know, they took the time to do that. So I ended up choosing the school and also because first and foremost, they have a January program, which is basically they start in January It's a decelerated type of um, program. Um, only slightly though, like there's a spring and there's a fall term and essentially we're all class of 2023, but I start a little before everybody else because I personally chose to I could have applied to fall but I wanted to apply to January because I didn't want to take a full you know um gap year I just wanted to do a half a gap year and that's like kind of what happened and um it's decelerated so I would take like um classes maybe like two classes now and then another class over the summer and then by the time um people who get in in August, I would have already taken some classes before I have a fuller schedule. So it won't be as stressful as um, people who just start in August. And I really value my mental health and everything. So that's why I chose the January program. I'm so excited that I got into the school. Um, you guys will be seeing more videos about, you know, my move to New York because essentially your girl was moving out. Like, <laughs> Just kidding. Um, just moving out because, like, I mean, I'm going to New York and it's not like I can be commuting back and forth and everything. I'm going to be there for four years and who knows if that's where I'm going to do residency or not. Um, probably not um, in New York for residency, but who knows? I could live there or whatever, but I don't really know what's going to happen. But that's a big 
move for me like moving to new york from maryland i've been in maryland all my life like so you guys get to experience that with me if you guys didn't know a podiatric medical student now you guys know one okay we can be best friends i really want to shed light onto the field of podiatry because it definitely doesn't get enough credit not the credit it deserves and i would love to shed some more light on it and i just want you guys to embark on this journey with me um, not only with YouTube, but with like medicine. I want you guys to see my journey through um, podiatric medical school. Um, I know it's not going to be easy by any means. It's not going to be easy at all. But I know how hard I worked to be at this point. I'm not going down without a fight. There is no way that I'm going down without a fight with doing this. I worked way too hard to be at this point. I know it's going to be frustrating. I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be overwhelming. I know I'm going to doubt myself in medical school, I'm sure, several times. But that's the point. You know, the easy part is getting in. The harder part is staying in. So I'm, I know that. But I'm just thankful to God that he got me to this place it's a perfect way to end the year of 2018 because it was definitely stressful in the beginning it was definitely stressful and frustrating um and i doubted myself multiple times but if medicine is something that you really want to do and you truly truly have a passion for helping patients go and do it go to medical school go take your mcat go do all of it you are going to doubt yourself a couple times and be frustrated but if you want to do it you're going to do it and that's just that so yeah i'm just i'm just very thankful <laughs> i'm very thankful to be in my situation and my position right now so um this channel is mainly going to be about medicine maybe more of a focus on podiatry school obviously because that's what i'm going into but medicine in general because there's not really much that big of a difference um in um how you operate in medical school and um also just life in general because i'm not really trying to make this just a channel about medicine because not everybody's interested in medicine some people are interested in business and law and stuff like that and you know i want to be a channel that kind of encompasses like everyone um people can watch me even if they're going into law or something like that it doesn't matter anyway so be on the lookout for that as well but please remember to like comment subscribe share this video um please if there's anything that you guys want me to make a video about please comment down below or dm me on instagram at naturally nani all of my social media is naturally nani except my snapchat um but if you guys have any if, any questions or anything just dm me just ask me in the comments or anywhere else like and i will answer any questions that you might have for me but thank you so much for watching this is the first video of many um we are going to embark on this youtube journey <laughs> we're gonna embark on it together okay but um this is definitely my fifth time creating this video hopefully this is good enough <laughs> this is actually tragic wow <laughs> this is my fifth I just want it to be a nice video. <laughs> Please, again, um, if you have any questions or anything, leave it down below. Um, click that notification bell <laughs> to keep up <laughs> to keep up with my um, channel. And you know, signing off, student Dr. Nani. <laughs> that feels so good. Thank you.